for me, Thailand is one of the most competitive countries in beauty pageantry such as in Miss Universe. That's why we will be discussing 5 reasons why Amanda Obdam might win Miss Universe this year or next year. Hello everybody! My name is Anthony from the Philippines and in this video, we will be discussing 5 potential reasons why Amanda Obda might win Miss Universe 2020. And before we begin, I would like to say Sawadika, hello Thailand, and someday I might visit your country soon especially if this pandemic is over. So, without further ado, let's begin with the first reason. So, we have the first reason. Amanda Obdam is the dark horse for Miss Universe Thailand 2020. Why? During the first, the first uh, moments of Miss Universe Thailand, Amanda Obdam was outshined by veteran candidates. That's why her moment is not that fully recognized during her time but during the preliminaries or during the special productions wherein each candidate can showcase their passarella or their way of communication skills or the, the way they talk, the way they communicate or socialize, fans started to notice Amanda of them until the finals night when she eventually won Miss Universe Thailand. That's why in my own perception, Freshness is now the key for a woman to win a certain competition because if you are a veteran and a prepared, one of the most prepared candidates, it does not guarantee for you to win a certain crown or title. That's why Amanda Obdam won because she is very, very sincere to herself, very humble, and did not mind that other veteran candidates to stop her from winning the crown. So let's proceed to the second reason. As we all know, Thailand has a very wide fan base. That is why Amanda Obdam is so much lucky to be representing Thailand for Miss Universe 2020 because she will be having millions of Thai pageant followers who will be supporting her in both mainstream media and social media networks such as posting about Amanda Obdam in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Line TV in cooperation with the famous celebrities in Thailand to post their, their support for Amanda Obdam in their respective television programs or in news. So it will help her gain popularity in other countries through the help of Thai pageant fans. This is why I really love Thailand pageant fans because they are so passionate when supporting their favorite candidate to win a certain crown such as Miss Universe. They use their resources, they use costumes or even they donate something for their candidates in order to gain or ponder their support for their beloved candidate. It's now time for the third reason and this is Thailand is really improving in terms of competing in international beauty pageants. As you can see, in Miss Universe for the past 5 years, Thailand is becoming more consistent in placing the top 10 or even in top 5. That's why don't ever ever underestimate the performance of Thailand because they are now outperforming several powerhouse countries such as Venezuela, Colombia, Mexico, and even here in the Philippines. That's why don't underestimate Thailand because Thailand is also managing its position to win several crowns such as one in Miss International and then the other one is in Miss Supranational. So Thailand is slowly perfecting their recipe to success not only in several major international pageants but also in third tier or second tier pageants. In addition to that, Amanda Obdam is so again lucky to have her predecessors in this picture who will be sharing their thoughts, their suggestions, and everything all about pageant 
to improve her skills to penetrate the finals spot and even the crown for Miss Universe 2020. Proceeding with the fourth reason, Amanda Obdam's father is Canadian and her mother is Thai. This is so important for Amanda because she grew up in Canada. That's why her communication skills is so natural that she can easily speak out of her mind and she can easily express how she feels, how she perceives things, and how to establish rapport effectively with other contestants when Miss Universe 2020 will start. So speaking of socialization, Amanda Obdam can really establish herself well when, whenever she will communicate with other contestants, with the staff of Miss Universe, and with the international fans. So there will be no barrier of communication in terms of socializing with other individuals. And especially about her advocacy, she can easily express her thoughts, opinions, and of, and of course, her goals in her advocacy so that Miss Universe organization can fully appreciate what she is trying to convey during the competition. Basing from the winning answer of Amanda Obdam, if how she can represent Thailand well in Miss Universe 2020, her answer was to represent herself and to fully embody the real essence of Thainess. Why? Because even though she is a Thai with a foreign blood or with, a, with Canadian blood, she is still happy and proud to represent Thailand because she wants Thailand to elevate their beauty pageantry level by winning Miss Universe 2020. And finally, the fifth reason. This is my favorite reason because it is all about the pasarela. So my fifth reason is Amanda Obdam has a very strong pasarela. During the swimsuit preliminary competition, many Thai pageant fans and even other international pageant fans became so ecstatic, so happy with what she showed by showing the judges how to flaunt her hips, how to move gracefully while walking through the runway in front of the audience. I love how her confidence outshines other candidates. Even the veteran candidates became so precautious about her because they did not expect Amanda to be performing that well. So not only in the swimsuit competition but also in the GAM. During the GAM competition, Amanda really showed the real meaning of elegance. She became so classy, she became so regal, she became so queenly not only in the preliminary competition but also in the finals night. That's why it is not a surprise when she won Miss Universe Thailand 2020 because that is how a queen should do when presenting themselves in a simple manner or in a humble manner but with essence and with a strong conviction. That's why in my final, what I really admire and love about Amanda Obdam is that she really has a very high respect for the Philippines in terms of beauty pageantry. Why? During a certain local talk show in Thailand, she was asked by a host if ever she will be one of the last two women standing in Miss Universe during the announcement of the winner. She chose Philippines as her, uh, as the other candidate to be holding her hands while waiting for the winner. So I admired about that. I, I admired about that statement and it makes me feel that she really deserves to be top two, one of the top two contestants. That is why never never underestimate the power of Thailand for Miss Universe 2020. And for our fans from Thailand, I would like to say Kap Kun Krap. I'm not sure if that's the right way of saying thank you in Thailand. But anyway, thank you for watching my vlog and subscribe for more pageant updates. The story of Anthony and the story of Anthony vlogs. If you have any comments, reactions, feedbacks, or anything under the sun, just comment down below and reach me out in my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, the story of Anthony. And that's all guys. Thank you, stay safe, and have a good day.